Constance Coral, Senior Marketing Manager with the Institute of Business Forecasting. I am here with Dr. Chaman L. Jane, Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Business Forecasting and Professor at Tobin College of Business, St. John's University in New York. We are here to discuss the special winter issue of the Journal of Business Forecasting, dedicated to forecasting with POS and syndicated data. Dr. Jan, what is POS data and how is it different than syndicated data? Point of sales data is the transaction at the end consumer, which we call normally POS data. If you buy a product at a store and then go to the checkout counter to make the payment, the, the person at the counter scan the product and then two things happens. One, it generates a bill and two, it enters that transaction into the database. Now the transaction includes the amount you paid on each item, where you bought it and when you bought it. This is the transaction which we call the, again, POS data. Now this data you can get it from the retailer directly if you have information sharing agreement with that retailer. Now if you don't have it, but there are many other store which also sell their product, but you don't have this arrangement with them, there the syndicator data vendor comes in. They go to these stores, collect the information, and then sell you at a price. This information is has other advantage. One is that if you get the information from the retailer where you have the arrangement, you do not get the information of competitive product. Whereas syndicate data vendor can give you information even of the competitive product. Dr. Jan, why did you dedicate this entire issue to POS data? And how does it help companies, especially in this declining economy? We need the POS data more than ever in this declining economy because we want to minimize the inventory, maximize the sale, and reduce the lead time. And the POS data does that. Let me explain how it happens. Now the POS data is much more stable than shipment data and demand data. Shipment data you see the fluctuation because of changes in inventory. And those changes come from backlog, machine breakdown, switchovers, and again, because of the company's inventory policy. And the changes in the demand we experience because of the changes in the inventory, which, we, which come from buyer's perception about the market, the supplier's policy to push over the merchandise to the retailer uh, to meet the quarterly target or the annual target or just the policy of the company may change from time to time. These all bring the changes in the demand data. But the POS data is not affected by the inventory and therefore, because the consumer does not hold any inventory, so there is no variation in the uh, inventory of the consumer. So as such, the, the forecasts based on the POS are much more stable. The other advantage of the POS data is you can get the market intelligence at a much granular level. You can determine how a product would behave, or which month the product would do well, which week the product would do well, which day the product do well, which kind of information you cannot get from the uh, shipment data or from the demand data. Above all, in the case of ship, uh, POS data, we get the information very quickly what the, how the market is doing so we can react. So that also helps particularly for new product and product with the short life cycle. What are some of the challenges these companies faced in using this kind of data? We have to deal with a massive amount of data, which is not easy. The other problem is 
that there is no standard format. Different accounts give you data in different format, which you have to standardize it to use it. For example, one account may give you the data where the week ends on Saturday. Other case, you may get the data where the week ends on Sunday. Also, some customer divide the data into 13 periods four weeks each period. In other cases, they divide the data into 12 periods and each quarter they have four weeks, four weeks, five weeks. So this inconsistency make the job much harder. What are the key takeaways in reading this issue? One can walk away with a number of things from these issues. One is the POS data is the leading indicator of the market. So this can help you to identify the opportunity and risk. The other thing which the brown shoe has learned by using a POS data, the first two week of data in the case of new product launch does not give you reliable information, but you can get a fairly good handle how the product would do from the POS data of week three and four. The other thing you may learn from this issue is that the POS data and the shipment, they are not equal, not the same in each and every month, week, and quarter. Shipment data is always larger than the POS data because shipment occurs first, then the POS occurs. And not, they have found that the normally shipment is larger than the POS data by 5 to 10 percent. The other thing which is interesting is the, that you can, with the POS data, determine the variation in the demand because the variation in demand create a disconnect between the uh, retailer's uh, sales and retailer's inventory. So if we can reduce the vari variation in the demand, we can improve the forecast and bring, uh, synchronize the retail sales with the replenishment order. And this you can do it because with the POS data, you can determine the change that coming from the consumer, change in consumer behavior, or is coming from the change in the inventory. Who are the expert contributors to this issue? We picked up the best mind in the industry for this issue. We have experts from various companies who have worked on this project, such as Nestle, Kraft, Sylvania, Brown Shoe, and Jordan Consumer Solution, which represent Sunbeam and many more. We also have consultants who work on this project to share their experience with us. And also we have wanted to get a perspective of the vendors who have implemented the PO system uh, for their clients and what kind of experience they have and what are the lessons they learned to share with us. Uh, I think the company who are already using the POS data in the demand planning process or intend to use it, they would find it very rewarding. Thanks. Thank you, Dr. Jan, for taking time to discuss the special issue of the Journal of Business Forecasting. For a limited time, you can download a complimentary copy by contacting the Institute of Business Forecasting and Planning, IBF. Thank you.